Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for stopping by today. September just happens to be one of the busiest birthday months in my family. So I have my two kids, my mother and father-in-law, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, and my brother are all in September. So I thought I would do a page inspired by September's birthstone, which is Sapphire. I'm coloring in this book, Dreamland, Coloring Whimsical Worlds by Renata Krajic. Um, and I'm going to be working in this page. There's actually so many pages in here that would work well for any kind of like celebration. Um, they just look like, look at all those balloons. Um, I've already done, let's see, this page, but like how cute is that? This little girl with a party hat and the little flags. Yeah, so there's just uh, some really great options for kind of celebration type of pages. Um, and I really liked this one because um, it had the little paper boats that I found so whimsical, um, the bunnies, and then it does have a few balloons too. All right, and I'm also, I'm calling this video mostly monochromatic because I plan on doing it mostly in blues. Looking at sapphires, they come in a big range of blues. You have blue greens to violet blues. Um, and although I do plan on having some areas of black and white, um, I thought the blues would just look really pretty on this page. So um, I'll also be picking a contrasting color for the bunnies. Um, yeah, just something that will stand out against the blues. So. I'll be coloring in the style of the illustrator, Renata Krajic. Um, it just seemed to fit the vibe I was wanting to create. Um, and yeah, just getting inspiration from her on her Instagram account. Yeah, she just has a really beautiful style. So if you haven't seen her artwork, please go check it out on her Instagram. I'll leave that link down in the description below. Um, also, I was just watching um, on the YouTube channel, Grumble Bunny, do an in focus review of her books so I'll leave that link um, for that down below too okay I'll be doing a little bit of normal and speed coloring and then show you the completed page at the end I will also be using um, multimedia on this page I'll be using some alcohol markers um, Arctic acrylic brush pens gel pens water-based markers I have some blue like metallic paint um, and some other sparkly accents. So we'll just see how it goes and play with all those different fun mediums. So yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Um, let's get to work. I'm starting off with the background first and I'm gonna be using Ohuhu alcohol markers. Um, this is B340, which is a slightly more violet blue. And I went with a medium range, not too dark, not too light. That way, um, whatever I put up against it, whether it's a lighter shade or a darker shade, it won't be too camouflaged with this color. I think I'll speed this part up and also color some off screen. Yeah, I'm getting a little older and my eyesight isn't the best anymore, so I need to get my face closer to see what I'm doing, especially where there are smaller areas to color. So I'll be right back. All right, background is done and I'm gonna mark off the bottom of this paper boat. So just using a ruler and a pencil. Uh, I think it just needs a hard line. So I'll just make that change and then go over it with a black permanent pen. All right, I think my mind can make sense of this now. The ground can be a little confusing too, where it starts and stops in certain areas, but I'll do my best to figure it out. Uh, this is B250, which is a little bit more of a gray blue. Again, more in a middle range, so I can still add either light or dark on top of it and it won't compete.
All right, for these hill-like shapes in the background, I'm gonna be using B380, which is a nice intense blue. All right, same thing on this side. I'm just going every other stripe. I'll finish off camera and I'll be right back. All right, and for the other stripes, I'm going to be using this Artex acrylic marker with a nice brush tip. Um, this is number 36, which is a really pretty blue. And it's also just slightly lighter than the first shade I used. All right, and then this is a Ohuhu acrylic paint marker. This has a different type of tip than the Artex one that I just used, and I can get a much finer line with this one. So I thought this color was pretty up against the darker blues too. Uh, so I'm just gonna go on one side of each of these uh, lighter blue stripes. And yeah, I just think that looks so pretty. And then I'm just taking my black Sharpie and uh, finishing that balloon string line. For the balloons, I'm using these three shades of blues for most of them, a dark, a medium, and a light. And then I'll be doing a few balloons in more of a blue-green shade. And starting off with my lightest shade, this is the BG3. Um, I'm filling in that little reflection area. Just uh, so I know when I start to color with the darker colors, not to color in these sections. All right, and I think for this one, I'm gonna start with the darker shade first. So this is B380, uh, adding, or filling in that little end of the balloon, and then I'm gonna go to the bottom because that's where I feel like my darkest part's going to be, and kind of doing this like half oval shape inside the balloon. And trying to work somewhat quickly adding that medium shade and fill in the rest of it while I you know try to grab a little bit of that darker color right at that line and try to blend it in All right, for this one, I'm gonna start with my medium shade and see if it will blend a little bit better. So filling in that like oval section again and then taking the darker color, um, trying to keep that line where they meet a little bit more wet, that way it's easier to blend them together.
All right, this is B, uh, let's see, B050, and I'm just gonna use this to fill in the reflection that is gonna be the lightest part um, or the lightest marker here. Uh, again, this is more of the like blue-green shades. And then my medium shade is B070. So working on that one first, that seemed to work better when I did it on the blue ones. So medium range, and then the darker one is PB8. All right, now I'm taking the white Artex acrylic marker um, and just going it, going over the reflection area. So this isn't as um, solid. It's a little bit more transparent than um, like a Posca, so, um, which is fine because I don't want it to completely cover. I just kind of want it to um, lighten up that little area there. All right, now taking a gel pen, which will be a little bit more solid and just running it along the outside line of that reflection. Okay, now that the, I have the bigger areas done, I'm going to work in a few color combinations and balance them around the page. Some elements I do in acrylic brush marker, some in alcohol marker, um, and some I'll do in like a Tombow water brush marker, um, mainly because I like that particular shade of blue for that space. Uh, but for this case, I'm using the acrylic paint markers, um, which will just be a better base for putting a lighter paint marker on top. All right, now that the acrylic paint has dried, I'm gonna go over it with this lighter shade um, of the Ohuhu paint pen. Again, this one has a different tip, so it's a little bit harder and finer. Um, and the print behind here were smaller polka dots, but I think I like the look of these larger polka dots. So yeah, I'm just making my own.
All right, and then this is my next color combo, more of the green blues. So I'll do this one and then I'll kind of look around and again, just kind of play some here and there, trying to balance out those colors. All right, using a really light blue, this is BG3. I'm gonna fill in these little circular shapes here. They kind of remind me of dandelions. So um, after I do some other work, then I'll go back and add some black and white um, little spots inside. All right, and then the next color combos I'm gonna use are more of the um, blue violets. For the center of these dandelions, I'm going to use a black Tombow marker and I'm just going to add these little like starburst patterns here in the center. Um, and then I'll use a white gel pen, add a little white dot in the center of those. I'm also going to outline around the whole circle um, and then put little dots around the outside of the circle. Now that I have a good amount of these color combos sprinkled around, I can fill in these other elements with other blues and add a few areas of black shapes. This will help break up all those blues and let your eye travel around the page.
All right, I'm trying to cover up these little dandelion seeds flying around. Uh, the white Posca did not cover it very good, so now I'm gonna try the white gel pen, which seems to be working much better. All right, and then looking over everything, I think I'm gonna color this tree black also. All right, now I'm going to use a, this is like a glittery uh, paint pen, I think it's described as. It is by the brand ZSCM. And I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow here in these rocks, and then I'll highlight it with a white gel pen. I wanted the center of these flowers to be white, but putting the white gel pen or any of the white, um, like Posca, all it did was turn it like a light blue. So I keep trying to go over it, seeing if I can brighten it up with white, but it still kind of changes to a light blue. Uh, it's, it's fine because it still has like that contrast of the light and dark, what I was looking for. All right, and then I think these dandelions need a little bit of shading too. So this is more of that bluish gray color that I used on the background. So I'm just adding that in the middle. All right, now I'm adding just a little white detail and texture here in these trees. I thought about leaving these other trees white and the boats white, but I feel like they need a little something. So I'm starting them off with a super light blue. It's also running out on me, so it's going to be, or it's gonna look lighter than it should be. And then I'll use some of the blue grays to darken up these shadow areas.
All right, I'm using a three shades of this reddish orange, or it's more like a salmon or coral shade for the bunnies. I have R080, R110, and R120. Uh, so I'm starting with the lightest shade and then working to the darker one. Uh, yeah, blue and orange are complementary colors on the color wheel, which means they are directly across from each other. Um, so when you use one, when you use the complementary color against the other, it makes them stand out. So that is why I picked this color, and I just thought it was a pretty color for the bunnies. And as I have you zoomed in here more, I did fill in the small leaf shapes on the right side of the page. They kind of look like sunflower seeds. I used the gel pen to cover the black lines and then fill them in. I think it makes them stand out a little bit better. All right, let's add a little more sparkle to the page. I'm using this Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic Paint in Sapphire. This is a new one for me and it seems extremely watery. Um, I have a few other brands of metallic light paints and this one, as you can see, is pretty sheer um, and translucent. It has a very fine gl uh, glitter with a watery blue tint. So, and I did shake it up really good too, um, but it still seems more watery than my other metallic paints. But um, it's actually gonna be good uh, to go over the balloons, which is where I'm gonna use them, and not completely cover up the existing color of the balloons. So just taking a small brush here and going over the balloons. All right, and then this one is Wink of Stella, one of my favorite glitter accents to use. It comes in these water brush applicators. This is the clear one, and it has such a fine glitter, but very concentrated, so it's super sparkly. The only negative is that I can never get it to show up on video as how it actually looks in real life, so you're just going to have to take my word for it.
I'm gonna add a few more highlights on some of these leaves over here. The light blue paint pen works great to go over some of these darker spots. And adding some white gel pen to highlight the center of this plant, I think that will help make it stand out a little bit better. Okay, my Sapphire September Birthday inspired page is all done. And I'll bring it in a little closer so hopefully you can catch all those glittery accents. So first we have the sapphire metallic paint over the balloons. Adds a really nice sheen and not too overpowering. Uh, and then the paper boats with that wink of Stella. And hopefully we're seeing that pretty sparkle in there. And then the round stones also have that glitter paint pen in dark blue as the shadow. All right, I really love how this turned out. Uh, some areas are pretty busy with the leaves and the patterns. So I think having the bolder black areas does a good job at breaking up these blues where it needs to. And then having the bunnies in this coral color brings attention to the paper boats, but also just adds the perfect amount of pop of color against the blues. I'd love to hear from my viewers. What is your favorite part of the page? And do you like to do monochromatic color schemes in your coloring? Thank you for watching and joining me today. I'll see you next time.